Millions of Chinese are picking up American slang thanks to what's happening in this Washington D.C. apartment. 大家好，欢迎来到 OMG 美语，我是白杰。Meet Jessica Beinecke, China's newest English language star. My four friends and I are renting a car and driving to New York City. I'm so excited! <laughs> Five days a week from the comfort of her dining table. <laughs> The 25-year-old writes, hosts, and produces a show called OMG Mayu, or Oh My Gosh, American English. In it, she explains idioms and slang to her Chinese viewers. Beinecke began studying Mandarin as an undergraduate. In 2006, she enrolled in Middlebury College's intensive language program. And spent the first half of 2007 studying in Beijing and Hangzhou near Shanghai. I had the best experience studying Mandarin in mainland China and studying the culture and everything. I feel like it was always me talking to young Chinese people, and I that was、uh, my my big goal when I was in China to make as many. Uh, friends as I could. She didn't become a star in China until last August, when she produced a video called "Yucky Gunk." And it was about all the gunk that comes out of your face.、Uh, and we talked about eye gunk and earwax and boogers. <laughs> you have a, uh, a uh, you have a booger right there. That video went viral and has since been viewed more than one and a half million times. That's never going to be in a textbook, and so they've they've、uh, sort of now they see OMG Mayu as a place where they can go to get the most authentic American English that young people use. Jiggly, pong pong the. Jiggly, my arms get jiggly. Bai Niki, or Bai Jie, as she's known to her Chinese fans, curates six social media accounts in China and the U.S. It starts on the weekend, where I ask them, 你们下星期想学什么话题 Which is,、uh, what do you want to study next week? And they, I get hundreds of responses every week. OMG is becoming a hit in China. On the Chinese equivalent of YouTube, OMG has garnered more than seven million views. And on Weibo, the Chinese equivalent of Twitter, the program is now followed by more than 200,000 people. Beinecke's bosses are taking notice. She works at VOA, Voice of America, the 70-year-old U.S. government-funded broadcaster with programs in more than 40 languages around the world. So why is this working? She talks to them on their level, and I think that's something we need to、uh, we need to replicate around VOA. David Ensor is Voice of America's director. He says while OMG may not fall within the traditional idea of what VOA does, the show helps the Chinese further understand American culture. We are a communications company, multimedia, on many platforms. We're reaching out to various peoples around the world, and our mission is to report the news, yes, but also to explain America and American values to people around the world. What Jessica is doing is going to be something that I think you'll see more people doing here, which is reaching out to the younger generation in different countries and communicating with them. I like Chinese. But why does it resonate with Chinese audiences? For some ideas, we visited nearby Georgetown University. There, we asked a group of Chinese nationals and PhD candidates in the linguistics department why Beinecke's show strikes a chord. So first of all, the girl is very cute. Huang Hai moved to the U.S. in September. One of my friends sent the link to me through China's Weibo, which is China's、mm. counterpart Twitter. Yes, so I know that this video got very popular in China, especially among the teenagers. Wang Li Hong has studied and taught in the U.S. for eight years. She had not heard of OMG, but as a teacher, could immediately see its value. My first impression about her is that she's very energetic. And enthusiastic in teaching English,、um, she uses a lot of facial expressions and body language to help the learners learn the language that she is teaching. I think that's very helpful. Her colleague Luke Amoroso studies English language instruction in China and sees obvious benefits of focusing on American slang. It's cool to learn slang and. Any language, when you learn slang, people like that because now you're part of the group that knows those things, and that separates you from older people or people that aren't in your group. And that's 
definitely attractive. Her teaching is very interactive and communicative, and uh, it can be a good complement for traditional um, textbooks, uh, especially for naturalistic learners. Chinese education has traditionally relied heavily on instructive teaching, lectures, and rote memorization. But until recently, the country's closed history has meant it has lacked foreign-born teachers who could add context and authenticity. We Chinese often learn English from very formal classes, and it's like very far from our everyday life. The idioms, expressions, slang that she teaches are not easily to find in traditional textbooks, and I think those expressions are very. Useful in our daily lives. So, what's next for Beinecke and for OMG? It would be ideal if if we can start this year inspiring more people to break out of the online community, which is thriving and it's really exciting, and to go and meet in person and to be leaders in their community to to further the discussion with their friends,、uh, whether that's in a classroom or that's just with their friends at a KFC around the corner or something like that.、Uh, I think they、um, that would be that would be another dream come true. Her other dream already came true. In December, she returned to Beijing to meet her fan club, which includes more than 4,000 members, some of whom traveled four hours by train just to meet her. What do you want for Christmas? Well, I'm a dog person, so I want a puppy, a husky, or a、uh, samoye, or a pug. Those passionate fans also voluntarily built apps for smartphones, so OMG can be seen on iPhones and Android devices in China and around the world. For now, Beinecke continues her conversation with Chinese admirers and pupils half a world away. We'll meet next time. Bye bye.